Hey everyone, so for today's video is I would like to show you how to have an organized and aesthetic notes on this note-taking app called OneNote. First of all is we have different preferences as to how we study. You may learn more by studying on your iPad or computer but personally is I would like to study with my notes. The physical notes, is that a term but yes. So in here I will make some notes and uh, then I will print them. I will also teach you on how to print your notes in a OneNote. Enough with the talking. By the way, thank you so much for 700 subscribers. Thank you so much to you who is watching this video. It means a lot to me. But yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hey guys, so first is you are gonna add some notebooks on your OneNote. So to add is just click add notebooks and then click browse to save your notebook. Make sure to have a designated folder on your PC so that it will be organized and it will not be cluttered on your documents. And also after you add some notebooks, you can add a section. With this, you can change the color according to your preferences and you can also rename them so that it will be easier for you to access a specific section and also you can edit the color of your notebook so with that just click the notebook and click properties you can change the color of the notebook with whatever color you want and you can just repeat this process until you have your notebooks for your subjects Next is you're gonna make your own template. So in here, you, you can either choose on OneNote a template, but personally, I would like to make my own template. So to do that is I just go to the view tab and change the paper size because after I take my notes, I will print them. And you can also adjust the print margins and the size, the width, and the length to save this as your template. And you can make it as your default template. You can also change the page color and put some lines. You can choose grid lines or rule lines. So in here, I'm just making my template. So in making your template, you can be creative as you want, but don't overdo it. I personally like to stick to two to three fonts for my headers and my default font. But in here, I just use bunch script. Is that how you pronounce it? But yeah and a fan size of 11.5 and this is just an example So another feature of OneNote is in this view tab, you can either click new doc window so that you will have a notes on the other side. So in here, I'm just going to start typing my notes and in typing notes, make sure to type those key points and don't type the whole book, which I did. Just type the important terms. So you can also drag the bullets and in typing your notes, make sure to simplify it and uh, just use bullets so that you will avoid uh, writing your notes in this one whole paragraph which will be overwhelming to look at and uh, it, it might end up you're gonna procrastinate in studying. Yes. So in here, I'm just going to add a new page and again, I'm just going to click my template and start typing my notes. So this is how it looks like as of the moment and I'm still writing some notes and uh, yes I just finished my notes after how many years char but yeah I already finished them and here in the insert tab you can also put some equations for your math for your math subjects and you can also write or you can also annotate in your notes and this is much easier if you're using an iPad so that you can easily annotate and you can study there and also in OneNote, you can research on something on a particular word or idea. 
So the other guide for aesthetic and organized notes on one note is to designate a specific highlighter. So in here in my title or headers, I will apply a red highlighter. For the terms is the blue highlighter. For the definitions is green. So while you highlight your notes, you can also study as well. Another feature here in OneNote is tags so that you can easily remember a specific topic that you have a question. You can also add a to-do here and add a link here. I'm just gonna add this the link of my ebook so that I can easily access it while studying. This is just an additional tip, but go through to your options or your settings and in here you can, you can change the default font so that it will be easier for you and that every time you open your OneNote, you don't have to change the font. So another way to have an aesthetic note is to incorporate or to put some pictures on your notes. I'm just gonna save this from Google and then insert the picture. So you can drag it whenever you want and in here I'm just gonna adjust the notes so that it will fit on the bun paper. So if you want to print your notes on OneNote is just click the file tab and click the print option and in here you can preview it first so that you can see how it will look like and just click your printer and select print and after how many seconds is there you will have your print out so thank you so much guys for watching and i hope you learned something in this video if you have questions don't forget to comment it down below and i would try my best to go through it good luck on your online class and thank you for watching bye